Earth Day, April 22nd, is the day when events are held worldwide to increase awareness and appreciation of the Earth's natural environment. But there are small steps that we can all take every day to make the world a better place. Here to help us go green is environmental entrepreneur Jen Bolden. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Mickey. Great to have you with us. And, and I want to share with our viewers, what is the very first step you would recommend toward going green? The first step is anything that you think you can easily put into your schedule, mm -hmm. right? Just, you're not going to just go green for a moment right. on Earth Day. It's going to be, hey, what can I really do realistically? Incorporate it in. So even if it's as small as bringing your own bags to the grocery store, mm. that's something, and that counts. So, that so really makes a start where huh? you think you can make the change, because then the next thing becomes that much easier. That's a good point, because I think a lot of it, it's like any holiday. You know, you do the extra work for the holiday itself, but then you forget about it the day after. So that's a really good advice. And so I want to ask you this, what advice do you have for people who don't have a green thumb? Okay, so <laughs> one of the things I'm recommending this Earth Day is to actually go green by growing your own greens. Oh. It really helps kind of connect the dots that when you put your hands into the soil, then you're seeing a little seed become something that you can eat. And you're like, wow, mm. Earth is pretty cool. I think I want to help it stay around for a long time. Sure. But if you don't have a green thumb, again, start small. And that's what I did. I didn't have a green thumb. And I was like, I'm just going to try growing some herbs right by the windowsill okay. so that I can use them when I'm cooking. And and I grew some basil and I'm like, wouldn't it be nice to have a caprese salad with the mm. mozzarella and the tomato? One of my so how do I get a tomato? Well, let's try growing it. And so it was a step-by-step -step process. At that time, we didn't have this gardening kit from Dole yet. And Dole basically has made it so easy, especially for working with your kids as an educational tool because it comes with everything that you could ever want. You know, from these little peat pots that you can put right into the ground, these cool discs that you put uh, water on and it becomes fluffy, nutrient-rich soil. Wow. as you can see right in here with all the seeds for vegetables and you put it in and a few weeks later they're ready to be dropped into the ground and before you know it you have your vegetable garden I love that now is that something we can get in all the stores now I mean is it available it's available. The easiest place is to go to dole.com and okay. to order it. It's $19.95, which let me tell you truly is a great deal because by it the is. time you go to the gardening supply store and you're buying the different seeds and the fertilizer and the sticks and mm -hmm. any like gardening mm -hmm. book, this has it all self-contained. And so great. it's a fantastic deal. Not to mention it doesn't seem overwhelming. It's right, just like, right. oh, it's in a box. I can do this. See, that's the thing because I wouldn't even know where to begin and it's all there right. for you. That's a great idea. And do you have any other food choices that families can use to help the environment and their health? as well I absolutely do okay I recommend trying to go vegetarian one day a week mm. and I'm sure all the meat lovers out there are going oh but I love my burger <laughs> right. no problem no problem but the best thing you can do for the environment and for your health is to try going vegetarian one day a week because meat mm. is a very resource intensive product right so yeah. it takes say 12 grain 12 pounds of grain to make one pound of beef oh, and wow. up to a thousand gallons of water goes into that beef production. So when you can actually eat the grain directly, have that quinoa and the tofu, and there's a lot of excellent vegetarian um, choices out there. Mm -hmm. So give it a whirl. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's a good alternative. And if it's only one day a week, I think we can all make the sacrifice. Manageable. It's a good point. Yeah. So that helps us with our health and the environment. What about a way to be environmentally friendly and save money? There's actually so many things that, that are kind of symbiotic for saving mm -hmm. the earth, saving your health, and saving a buck here and there. Okay. One of my favorite ideas is having a swap party. And what that means is instead of taking big bags to Goodwill, pluck out the best pieces. Like okay. maybe I'm going for a different look next season and I'm, I'm done with this blazer. Mm -hmm. My friend might have a pair of shoes that the first time that she wore them hurt her feet. Mm -hmm. And someone else might have the bag that never really felt like them. So you get together with your friends. You all bring your best of your best stuff. And you end up, number one, having a great time. Number two, you might come away with a new outfit. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing about this is that you're really helping the environment because no new products were made to create your new outfit. Oh, wow. You know, I never thought about that but that makes so much sense I actually just went through my closet the other night and thought why don't I why do I keep all this stuff what am I doing and for someone else it could be like a whole brand new wardrobe so you're that's absolutely right. right they say one man's trash is another man's treasure that's absolutely right and you know Jen I know a lot of people are watching this thinking I want to know more so where could they go for more information well for more information about gardening or the gardening kit nutrition there's even a great newsletter about nutrition and sustainability um, go to dole.com okay and for more tips on anything that you want to know about going green and um, anything else is jenbolden.com. Fantastic, and I like how you incorporated the green cami under your blazer.
Why, thank you. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> Very <laughs> apropos. Thanks so much, Jen. We hope to talk to you thank again you, soon. Nikki. Have thank a happy you. Earth Day. And Thanks. coming up next on New Mexico Style, Kenny Hatchett is day tripping at the Bradbury Science Museum. Don't go away.